Darts Nuts and welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm reviewing another set of darts sent to me from Shop Darts from the new Viking range and this is the Berserker model and this is the center weighted uh, dart and I've got the 23 gram version here and they go up in 1 gram increments so you've got 22, 23, 24 and 25 grams and the 90% tungsten and all the models in the range have the new Siege interlocking grip and they all have the shot high tech particle coating and these retail for £69.95 so let's check them out so as with the other shot darts I've reviewed they come in this neat slim packaging and again it's got a very nice uh, graphical theme on the packaging and all the info on the contents and a little bit on the back about the darts it tells you it's a center weighted uh, dart and um, one thing I like on this one it says it's finished in blood on leather red so that's nice so inside there's a dense form insert of the darts and you've got the in-between eagle claw stems and the number six or small standard shape flights again with another kind of a Viking theme on it and underneath the other two flights you've got your barrel guarantee so that's where you get in the pack the darts are fitted with black coated points with this very nice etching on which is based on the kind of carvings on uh, Viking ships and it's kind of a, a center tapered or kind of like a rugby ball style of shape got quite a long front taper and apart from the couple of grooves at the front it's made up of that nice uh, shark style grip with the little notches through it not overly grippy there because it's quite a, a shallow um, flat shark grip so probably high medium and then the center section has got the siege interlocking grip and you can see it stands out quite well with that uh, what was it called blood on leather red color um, definitely for middle grippers you've got a nice section of grip there but some front grippers may be happy with it as well but even on the rear you've got another section of grip so three different styles of grip there I think the one on the rear is a little bit less grippy than the, the other two but it's still got a nice feel to it kind of a, a rear faceted or square edged ring grip with kind of deep gouges cut through it but that uh, red colour has got a very nice deep shine to it uses that high tech particle coat and what shot they've had on quite a lot of their darts recently and there's your eagle claw stems and another nice graphical viking design on the flights That's fit with the 29mm cinder etched points. It's got a tapered nose with a couple of grooves at the front and that section is 4.5mm before it gets into a, a shark style grip with the notches cut through laterally. That's 12mm wide and then around the middle you've got the siege grip which is 13.4mm wide and then you've got a mostly smooth part apart from the notches that's 2.5mm and then you've got a thin ring grip with the grooves cut through the middle that's 9.6 millimeters and then another section on the end of 4 millimeters length is 46 millimeters width is 7.5 millimeters grams 23.07 again 
around 23.1 grams and the full setup is 24.63 grams. With nothing attached the balance is just a little front of the center point and with the supplied setup it moves slightly behind the center and this is the balance with medium in between short extra short stems and standard flights. Not sure, but the um, siege grip kind of feels a little bit different on this dart than it did on the hammer darts. Don't know why, it just kind of feels a little bit more edgy. Well, those three that I threw there kind of flew a, a little bit flatter than the first three. So, I'm just getting the hang of it, but it's definitely got a nicer balance there. So that should be a nice one for middle grippers. I do like that description of the colour, like I already said it. I think that's a great description, uh, blood on leather. So I'll try the rear section now, and this part is pretty much the same as it was on the hammer darts. But again, it's a little bit on the short side there, and it has that hexagonal kind of a feel to it. But I'm not sure I would say it's a, a rear gripper's dart. But it's one of them darts that you never know, depending on how you throw the dart. You might uh, be happy with this. I kind of have the same problem on the rear as I did at the front part. Just feels as if my thumb isn't fully on the grip. Oh, it's flying better than I was expecting it. So that's the shot 23 gram berserker darts. Um, it 
was flying quite smooth through the air for me as a front gripper and if that bit on the front was just a little bit longer and maybe just slightly thicker I'd probably like it a little bit more but I kind of felt a little bit uncomfortable there just because it was a little bit short and I didn't feel like I was getting a full grip on it but um, some front grippers might be happy with it if you've got smaller thumbs than me then you might be fine and definitely for middle grippers that is the sweet spot it's very nicely balanced around there and um, I don't know why but that kind of siege grip it just had a slightly more edgy feel than it did when I was throwing the hammers whether it's just something to do with the uh, change in temperature today or whether it's something else I don't know but it just kind of felt just a little bit more grippier and from the rear it's a little bit like the front for me kind of a little bit more awkward but again some rear grippers might be happy with it because a lot depends on how you throw it through the air but I would say definitely for middle grippers it's going to be the best but um, if you get a chance to try them and you're a front or a rear gripper it's worth a go and like I said with the Hammer Darts very nicely machined again and uh, another nice theme from shot so that's the end of the review thanks for watching